Hey guys and welcome to another video. This video I'm going to discuss how to make Legends of Tomorrow Season 4 amazing. Season 1 was bad, Season 2 was amazing, uh, Season 3 was pretty good, and this is how I think they can make Season 4 the best one yet. And we also got a new trailer, that meaning we have two trailers for Legends of Tomorrow Season 4 now. And in that trailer we get to see freaking fairy godmothers, I'll get a little bit into that later on in uh, the video. I want to discuss who I want to be the main villain, and that is Black Adam. Now, the main reason I want him to be the main villain is because Zari was on Legends of Tomorrow Season 3, and in the comics, Zari is, well, married to Black Adam. She is married to the guy, and she is a villain in the comics. So yeah, in the comics, uh, Zari and uh, Black Adam are Shazam villains, which um, is why I want Black Adam to be like uh, the main villain of the season, and Zari to be, well, his love interest. And they can both, I think, an arc for Zari becoming evil would be pretty cool. Also, I'm just saying it now to get it out of the way, I think Mara McCabe should join the Legends, because I think she is the much better vixen, she is a much better vixen than... Um, uh, then, uh, Amaya, and she was, uh, initially, she, uh, was initially the vixen who was going to join the team in the first place, but the actress wasn't available, so they got, uh, the actress that plays Amaya instead and got her as vixen, but, um, the actress that plays Mari is now available, so they can use her, because, in my opinion, she's a much better vixen than Amaya, at least in season three. In season two, I don't know. And then there is Shazam. Will he appear in this season of Legends of Tomorrow? Uh, 100% not, because Warner Brothers is making a Shazam movie, and Warner Brothers, as most of you guys know, are really stubborn with their film rights. Uh, so they're definitely not gonna have Shazam appear on Legends of Tomorrow. It will be extremely cool, but no, it's not gonna happen. Now, the reason that I don't think, obviously I want Black Adam to be the villain, but the reason that I think that he will actually not be the main villain of the season is because Warner Brothers is making a Black Adam movie starring Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock. Uh, another thing I want to see in the next season of Legends of Tomorrow is a redemption arc for Nora Dark, and her and Ray could maybe, like, start dating because in real life, um... You know, the actress that plays Nora Dark is married to the actress, the actor that plays uh, Ray Palmer. Uh, maybe they could do something similar to, like, uh, Ma Nell and Supergirl, who are dating in real life, the actors behind those characters. So maybe they could do something similar to that. Uh, that would be pretty cool. But I really want Nora to have kind of like a redemption arc, like how Damien Dark had in Season 3. But I think it would be really cool if the whole storyline of Legends of Tomorrow... Season 4 would revolve around Shazam and um, uh, Black Adam. I think that would just be great. And maybe smash Constantine, make him work in the story somehow. And of course have Zari be on the side of Black Adam. And have the other legends kind of in the background. Uh, I think that would be a great idea. Alright, and so the showrunner of Legends also teased that uh, a few characters would become evil in uh, Season Four, which is why I also think that Zari will become evil and, uh, you know, be a villain alongside Black Adam. So I think there are two characters that I want to become evil. One of them is, of course, Zari. And the second one is Heatwave, a.k.a. McRory, just because he's a villain in the comics. So uh, then there is Wally West, who has been confirmed to return for The Flash Season 5, Episode 1, but not return for Legends of Tomorrow at all this season, which I think is really kind of annoying, because he was great in Season 3, so uh, goodbye, Wally. He's going to be leaving the Arrowverse completely uh, this season. Now, I don't, I don't really care about Avis Sharp. I think her whole storyline with the clone was kind of weak, but I really did, don't care, like, I really don't care about her character, so I really wanted to have, like, a minor role this season, because I just don't care about her. So, in the end of season three, we saw uh, that uh, John Constantine, uh, obviously, came to the Legends in Aruba and dropped that dragon head on the ground, which I think should lead into, well, in a, of course, that leads into the main things that the Legends have to stop, like aberrations and, uh, anachronisms that like they did in season two and three uh i think the main thing that they're going to be stopping this season is of 
course, demons and myths and fairy tales and uh, stuff like that. Um, uh, like the dragon we saw in the end of season three. And, of course, we saw a unicorn in uh, the trailer for season four. And we also see in the second trailer that the unicorn is shooting frickin', I don't know, rainbows out of its, like, you know, horn. And I am a little bit afraid that this season of Legends of Tomorrow will go a little bit too silly. I really hope it won't be too silly. I like it how the tone was in season three and how silly it was. So I just hope it doesn't go like crazy silly. And then there is Gary, who is absolutely hilarious, and I think he should replace a character as the comic relief. I think he should replace Heatwave as the comic relief character, and Heatwave should die because Heatwave is just like a really, really idiotic character in my opinion. He just annoys me. Like Dominic Purcell is a great actor and a great person, but in this series, he's just so stupid, and I really hate him. I think he's just such an annoying character, which is why I think he should die this season, and Gary should replace him as the kind of comic relief character, and he should join the Legends, in my opinion, but just stay on the ship. He shouldn't really do anything. Uh, Ray Palmer, I think he should get a new suit that looks more like in the comics, because his suit is really non-comic book accurate. This is his suit in the comics. I don't think he should get a completely new suit, just a few changes that makes his suit look more like in the comics. And then there is John Constantine. Now, here's what I think John Constantine's role should be. Now that Rip, it's, Rip is gone, we need another trench coat wearing Englishman to be the leader. And I think, yes, I think Constantine should actually be the leader of the legends. That's probably not going to happen. He's probably not going to... Sarah's probably not ever going to be replaced ever again. But I really want her to be replaced with replaced with Constantine because before Constantine appeared on Legends I didn't really realize how great of a character Constantine actually was and how great Matt Ryan actually was at playing Constantine because um he's actually in my opinion one of the best casting choices in the Arrowverse uh Matt Ryan as Constantine Legends season um four made me realize that so uh I think that this guy's actually great and he needs to be the leader, in my opinion, and replace Sarah, as I think he would be a better leader. And I think season four should focus mainly on him. All right, so uh, we obviously know that Constantine would be a series regular on season four. But um, the probably the most interesting part of Constantine and the thing he's most well-known for is in the comics. He's a member of the Justice League Dark which is basically a team of people who stop, like, magical things uh, and demons and stuff like that. But obviously in the show, if they appear, don't call them Justice League Dark. Call them, like, the Dark League or something. So I think in the season, Sarah should be like, we can't stop all these demons on our own. And then Constantine's like, oh, I have an idea, love. And then the, like, the Justice League Dark come in and uh, help the Legends for this season. But uh, here's what I want the Justice League Dark to be the team. The first member of the Justice League Dark, I think, should be, is a no-brainer, and that is John Constantine, who is the leader of the team. The second member is Dead Man. The third member should be Zatanna. And the fourth and final member is Swamp Thing. Actually, no, not the final member. The final member should be Gary. Just slap him in there for fun and for comic relief. So that's what I want the Justice League Dark to be, obviously. Explain origins of those guys. Um, but I think that there should be a lot of flashbacks this season of what Constantine did uh, during, or, I mean, after his appearance in Arrow Season 4 and just until his appearance in Arrow Season or in Legend Season 3. There should just there should be flash flashbacks showing him like recruiting all the members of the Justice League Dark and origins of all of those members. And I think in the end of the season, Constantine should be like, "Well, it's been fun helping you guys, but I gotta go." And he leaves with the Justice League Dark to go stop the remaining demons or whatever. So of course, the Justice League Dark also fit the theme of well, magic and demons, and the Justice League Dark could just 
I think they should just be kind of a team on just being on the rave rider and kind of helping help stopping the the demons and the fairy tales and the myths um just being on the rave rider for this season and leaving at the end of season four um but just helping the legends and constantine out in this season so something that we all thought was weird was on the official legends of tomorrow uh season four poster the first thing was that Wally wasn't there, but he's been confirmed not to be in season four at all. But the second thing is that Macy Richardson Sellers, who plays um, Amaya, was on there, and Amaya left the show in the end of season three. So, uh, but yeah, it was confirmed at Comic Con that she'll be playing a new character, and her name is Charlie. So, um, Charlie is. Uh, we got a character breakdown that says Charlie. Uh, when they the legends opened the portal for Mullis uh, to come to come out of, so they could defeat him, uh, Charlie came out of the portal too, which is kind of weird how they've gotten the same actor, but it's obviously because they don't want the actor to leave and they still want to use her, so that's why they get in Charlie the character. Um, but I don't really know how I feel about Charlie being there. Uh, I feel like it's kind of stupid using the same actor. The legends in the beginning, they're obviously going to think it's Amaya, but she's like, no, my name is Charlie, who's Amaya? Um, but yeah, Constantine obviously is not going to be very happy about that because he wants to like kill all the beings that came out of the portal. But I feel like she's going to be an interesting character, and she'll hopefully be better than Amaya was in Legends of Tomorrow Season 3 because I hated her in Legends of Tomorrow Season 3. And then the the actress who played McRory and John Constantine both teased that there will be a tension between John Constantine and McRory in the beginning of the season, which I think is just really funny. And I can just imagine them both shouting at each other, and maybe Mink Mick Mink Mick could take a bottle and just throw it at um at Constantine, and he could duck it and it would hit the wall, and Sarah would get really mad. I'd love to see that. But that is what I want to happen in Legends of Tomorrow. Season 4, what do you want to see in this season? And I won't be covering Supergirl because there was literally nothing in that trailer. And I really don't like Supergirl that much as a show. So I won't be doing this kind of video on Supergirl. Just Legends, Arrow, and The Flash. Um, but what do you think of this video? Please leave in the comments what you want to happen in Season 4. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and, um, yeah, please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Please leave a comment, it really means a lot to me. And, um, yeah, my Instagram is at jackknight underscore the mad pizza, it's on the screen, and I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out.